Faye Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw a food chain. I'm going to come over here on the upper left corner and put a dot. And from that dot, I'm going to draw a circle. Then I put straight lines all the way around. Because the very first part of our food chain starts with the sun. S-U-N. Sun. Now, right next to that, I'm going to write food chain so I don't forget what I'm drawing. And put a curve line, curve line, curve line all the way around. Now, from the sun, I'm going to draw a straight line and a triangle. Straight line, straight line, straight line, connect. And underneath, I'm just going to draw a slightly wavy, wavy line. I come back up to the top of the wavy line and I draw little straight lines back and forth because this is grass. And I'll explain all of this when we color. Right now we're just going to draw. And grass is the beginning producer for our food chain. Underneath producer, I'm going to draw another curve line up and another triangle. Straight line, straight line, straight line, connect. Right here, I'm going to put a dot and I'm going to draw a flat oval. Flat oval. And now on the right side, I'm just going to draw a little curve line. I'm going to put a dot. Then I'm going to draw a straight line, straight line, little dot, little dot. Come over here and I'm just going to draw a straight diagonal up, straight diagonal down. On top I'm going to go curve line, curve line. And I'm going to add another straight diagonal line. And then I'm going to add one, two, three, four little straight lines and just put little straight lines at the end of each because now I have drawn a grasshopper and my grasshopper also needs to be labeled as a primary consumer. Now you can make a list, a word bank for these words so everybody knows how to spell it correctly. I'm going to keep drawing. Now I'm going to take a straight diagonal up and at the end I'm going to draw another triangle. Straight line, straight line, straight line, connect. Now I draw a curve line, leave it open, curve line up, curve line down, connect. One, two, three curve lines inside and over here on the left, straight line out, straight line in dot dot. Now I've drawn a blue bird. Blue bird who comes out to be my secondary secondary consumer. And again I'll explain this once we start coloring. Now I draw a straight line curved line with a triangle, straight line, straight line, straight line. And right here, I'm going to draw a curved line, wavy, 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 wavy up. Leave it hanging. I'm going to draw a straight diagonal in, out, wavy, 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 wavy line, connect. If you have room, you can just put a little curved line up, up, and a dot. Because now I've drawn a snake. And my snake is my tertiary, tertiary consumer. Okay? Hello. Alright. Now for my snake, 
I'm going to draw curve line, straight line down, another triangle, straight line, straight line, straight line, connect, put a dot, little curve line to the right, little curve line to the left, straight diagonal up, straight diagonal down on the right, straight diagonal up, straight diagonal down on the left. Then a wavy, 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 wavy line. Connect. Come back to the left. Wavy, wavy, wavy line around. Up. Connect. At the very bottom, we're going to do curve line, curve line, curve line on the left. Connect. Curve line, curve line, curve line. Connect. On the right. Big baby circle one. Baby circle two. Dot dot, straight diagonal down, straight diagonal up, if you have room, dot, dot, and this is an owl, and the owl is the apex predator at the end of this food chain, not all food chains, but this food chain. All right, like I said, so you should have sun to grass to grasshopper to bluebird to snake to owl, okay? And don't forget to label this food chain. That's what we're making today, a food chain. All right, let's see how we're going to color this in. Okay, a food chain shows how each living thing gets food and how nutrients and energy are passed from Creature to creature, food chains begin with plant life and end with animal life. But we started with the sun, so get your yellows and let's color in the sun. And that's because the sun, you can come in between all of these lines with a straight line. The sun is the energy that produces the grass. So now come down to grass. And we're going to put straight lines. You don't have to color, just straight lines by your black lines. Because the sun is what makes the grass grow. Once the grass is grown, here comes the grasshopper and he or she eats the grass. That's why down below they're called the primary consumer. They're the first animal to eat the grass for energy. Then the grasshopper gets eaten by the bluebird. So color in your bluebird blue. Add a little orange for his beak. So the first primary is another word for first. Primary consumer is the grasshopper. Now the bluebird comes in. He or she is the secondary consumer, the second one to eat everything to eat the grasshopper, but lo and behold, the snake, which I'm just going to color brown, is the tertiary consumer. That means the third consumer. So the snake eats the bluebird, which ate the grasshopper, which ate the grass. That's our chain. Now, Come down to the owl, and he is the apex predator. He's where everything ends. And I'm just going to color around the edge with a black. Not the whole thing, because I don't want to lose all my details. Bring it all the way down and around. Get your orange back out. Let's add his beak orange and his feet orange. Okay, now so that I can see the movement, I'm going to come back over to my triangles and I'm going to make them red. Now you could number each station and you could follow that through, but I'm just going to use my arrows. But you could number the arrows if you forget which way they're going. So first your sun. Grass is the producer, grasshopper, primary consumer. He gets eaten by the secondary consumer, the bluebird. 
which gets eaten by the snake, the tertiary consumer, finally. We end up with the owl eating the snake. All right, let's see what this looks like all colored in. Okay, here's my food chain all colored in. And there are many different types of food chains with producers going all the way up to the predator at the end. This shows you how all of the uh, food chains begin initially with plant life but end up in animal life. Okay, bye-bye.